Good afternoon, East Texas. This is your TylerPaper.com afternoon news update. The Associated Press is reporting that North Korea said today it will restart its long-shuttered plutonium reactor and increase production of nuclear weapons material in what outsiders see as its latest attempt to extract U.S. concessions by raising fears of war. Now, the reactor began operations in 1986 but was shut down as part of international nuclear disarmament talks in 2007 that have since stalled. Now, North Korea said work to restart the facilities would begin, quote, without delay. Now, experts estimate it could take anywhere from three months to a year to reactivate the reactor. The nuclear vows and a rising tide of threats in recent weeks are seen as efforts by the North to force disarmament for aid talks with Washington and to increase domestic loyalty to young North Korean leader Kim Jong-un by portraying him as a powerful military commander, according to the AP. Now, a North Korea expert at the University of Seoul said the North, quote, is keeping tension and crisis alive to raise stakes ahead of possible future talks with the United States. Now, in other news, Kaufman County is continuing to deal with the fatal shooting of its district attorney and his wife over the weekend. Our news partners at KYTX CBS 19 are reporting that the Kaufman County, County DA's office announced the appointment of an interim district attorney today. First Assistant District Attorney Brandy Fernandez will lead the office for the next 21 days as allowed under, under the Texas Government Code. Now, her time as District Attorney could be shortened if Governor Rick Perry makes a permanent appointment before the 21-day time period expires. Now, according to a statement from the DA's office, the office will, quote, continue moving forward to serve the community while working through these tragic events which have affected the lives and families of this office. Now, Mike and Cynthia McClelland were shot and killed inside their home near Forney Saturday after someone kicked in their front door. Now, no suspects have been named in this case. Now, according to the AP, McClelland and his wife will be remembered at a public memorial Thursday. An official with the Honor Network says the public memorial will be at 1 p.m. Thursday at First Baptist Church of Sunnyvale in Mesquite. The funeral will be at 10 a.m. Friday at First Baptist Church in Wortham. Burial will be at Wortham Cemetery. In other news today, the Tyler Convention and Visitor, Visitors Bureau says that the flowers along the Azalea and Spring Flower Trail are just starting to hit their peak as the final weekend of the trail approaches. Now, the trail kicked off on March 15th and officially ends on Sunday. The Convention and Visitors Bureau said that erratic spring temperatures caused a later than usual explosion in color and that while this is the final official weekend of the trail, the flowers should still be in bloom for a bit longer. Now, some of the activities during this final weekend will be a Kids Fest Saturday at Broadway Square Mall from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., a downtown spring art walk on Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m., and living history tours by candlelight at the Bonner Whitaker McClendon House from 6 to 9 on Saturday. Now, for more information on the trail and events, go to visittyler.com. Well, thanks for watching and make sure to check back throughout the day and night for breaking news updates on tylerpaper.com.